Hi guys, you're never gonna see that video. <laughs> I just made a video. Okay, first off, I need to get my microphone somewhere near me that is not on me. Because when it is on me, it is just, you hear all my heavy breathing. It's just really bad. All right, so, oh, hold on. I'm doing this the wrong order. Yesterday, you may have seen the video where I made some of these. I made some of them off video. And then I also splattered. There's some little uh, raw umber and copper splatters over the jelly plate print. So these are jelly plate prints that I made yesterday. That was the very first one. Didn't have, didn't come out quite like I wanted. But that's all right. Because I improved a little bit. So this one's got some of that green gold fluid acrylic in it. And this one is mostly orange, made it from my friend Lori. And this is where I started adding orange in, I think, because I had, where is it? I had that one, didn't pick up much. So then, where the, I just added orange to it to get that one. Then I did the orange one. Then after the orange one, I think I did this green one. And then these were just, this is the paper I was using just to pick up. So that may end up as like collage. This is what they mean when they say fodder. <laughs> That's one of the things they mean. Like it might not be something super useful, but find a way to use it. All right, I did not like how this gold came out and now it's like starting to separate weird. Um, I had some white watercolor in there. And so when I added the gold, it took away some, of, it made it more like a yellow than a gold. So these are the ones that we're going to make now, not using a jelly plate, not using a sponge, not using any expensive paints or expensive brushes or anything like that, which would explain why there's little brush hairs that get stuck in your paint because, like I said, using cheap brushes, you could leave that brush hair in there as texture. All right, so you still get quite a bit of texture in here. No, it's not exactly the same. It doesn't come out exactly the same, but still, it's fun. And I might, maybe I should do one with the brush and one with the uh, sponge, because some people do have sponges. But So this is just using cheap brushes. So I made those two in a video where all you could see was this, this part up here and not the whole sheet. So hopefully now I am in the right place. You can just use plain cardstock. I mean, you could use paper too. I'm using just some inexpensive uh, mixed media paper. I just found the, the cheapest stuff I could find. It was like, so it's 98 pounds or 100 GC, GSM and there was like 100 sheets in here. It's not the best feeling. It's kind of weird. It's, I don't know. I don't hate it. It's, it's nice to use on the jelly plate. You saw everything I've used the past two days has been this paper. Just cheap mixed media paper is what I've been using. All right. It's all right. It's all right. So I'm going to start with a background neutral color. And I'm going to get out my brush that has my lighter colors on it. And I need a paper towel or I'm just going to make a big giant mess. So the only reason that I put on a background color is because I don't want this stark whiteness showing. Also, trying to pick up a brush out of um, the wrong bowls. You're not going to, the wrong cup. <laughs> trying to, I was like going, I have a cup of the other brushes that you use for, um, oh, for, you know, your inks. And I was going for that one for some strange reason. So I have, I basically have one brush for cool colors, one for warm colors, and one for browns is pretty much how I've been working this. And I'm going to start, I found my khaki. Oh, you don't know this, but I lost my khaki. I lost it again. Here it is. I started out with this color the first time, and then I lost it because I throw things. And there's like, I have a thing with a drawer back there, but the drawer's not in there, and that's where my, that's where this paint has it. I'm setting it gently right there because this, uh, just getting paint on here right now. We're not worrying about, I don't even know why I put the paint over to the side. We're just getting it on there. It doesn't have to completely cover even. 
and you could even just like spray with coffee do your coffee thing and um, just get some color on there just so that you don't have to worry about getting every single little um, place with your other color I don't know we're just putting down a, a base color in the background just like that doesn't have to be perfect and let's do the next one I'm doing two at a time I think it's interesting how when I just change like one or two things that it they turn out so different because the other two that I showed you a minute ago uh, one I didn't add a certain I, one had orange one didn't and the only other change is the blues one was more blue one was more green so I just had added a little bit of green to the blue for the second one there we go that's it got a nice little background going on there and then did I say I was going to do one with sponge and one with brush because I want to see the difference it's all because I want to experiment I want also to have my computer over there oh, super helpful all right let's go back to this one I'm not even drying them completely in between although I might want to get the brush thingies off and last time I used yellow ochre this time I'm going to use the Naples yellow which is one of my art uh, Liquitex probably this is gold oh, here it is Liquitex Naples yellow it's just an old one that I need to use up because it's I don't know it might come like this and I just want to use it up so I can get a new one I like the Naples yellow but I don't like can you see it's like all weird it's just weird it's all uh, gloopy and weird. So I have to kind of like go like this first to smooth it out. And then it's fine. It, you want texture anyway, right? So I'm just randomly with the brush on this one, just smushing. I'm smushing paint. This is where your texture comes from because you're, and I'm not doing it everywhere. I'm just kind of going here and there. The lighter colors I'll do more of because they're kind of more of the base. And then I'll come in between with the darker colors. I'm trying to get some of this yellow also where it's white. But not not everywhere. I just I don't know. Just doing stuff. Okay, so that was with the brush. So I have to remember the one to, the one over here is with the brush. And this one I'll do with the sponge. Is that my Naples yellow? Yes. I'm still gonna stir it with my um go trash. I'm gonna stir it with this brush though, smooth it out. Alright, where's my sponge? Seriously, I had my sponge. Well, we're gonna take whatever sponge. I wonder if I can do it with oh here's one. I didn't like Oh my word! All right, I found my other sponge, though. That, like, flipped up in my face. Stuff's blowing around here. So this one, now I don't have enough. Now my paint has started to dry, and that's going to be an issue. All right, let me get a little bit more. Na Naples, just stuff. It's an avalanche. Avalanche happening. All right, if I, I guess I'm not going to clean it with my, I'm just going to. Not clean it. I was trying to, yeah. You know what I did with the brush where I tried to smooth it. Smooth it. That's the word. Alright. Just using our sponge this time because if you're like me, you've got sponges in your stash from 15 years ago that you've never used too. Uh, I'm actually almost doing a vignette here. I don't know why. Guess when you go around the edges and have like this hue. I guess apparently that's called a vignette saw somebody say that because they had like a big jelly plate print the jelly plate and they were um so they were only picking up what was in the middle so they ended up with this edging and she called it a vignette so now I'm like all about the vignette apparently I don't know it, it gave her an idea for she did scrapbooking it gave her an idea for a vignette for a scrapbook layout now can't necessarily see this color real good with the uh 
I don't know what you can see. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've got some yellow on there. Next color, I'm going to go back to the paintbrush one where we're just plopping it down. Uh, should I use some orange? I didn't use orange on one and I did on the other. I think I'm going to use this burnt orange, but it's just still a little bright for my taste. So I'm going to add a little bit, a little tiny bit, if I can find it here, it is black. It's hard to get just a tiny bit of black out of here. Let's see what happens. We're just going to see, see what happens. Nope, that's not what I want. Now that is just... Well, we're going to try it. It's, it's more muted, for sure. Let's, let me add a little bit. Where's that Tuscan? Tuscan red. Let's add that. that might be, maybe that's what I should have done is some black and some red and some... Nope, still not what I wanted. Well, we'll definitely will not be as dark as the last one. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's see if I can get some of this color for the other one. I don't hate the color. It's it's um it's muted and I like muted colors. You know how you know me and my muted colors. Maybe. Unless you're new. Just so that now you know I like muted colors. Alright, let me that to the side and get a little bit more of this mess with this mess way more than I wanted and a little tiny bit of black I don't know I was like my, even the words in my head are wrong sometimes because I was trying to think oh I need a paper towel but that was not the word I was saying see this came out darker because I have more of the red in it than the orange this time but i know you're probably thinking that looks like the first orange you put down it can't possibly but <laughs> i like it all right it's a good color so these are definitely going to be different because i've already changed the colors i mean they're going to be different anyway because i'm using a different technique I try to turn my sponge. I don't know. Maybe I don't need to. Maybe because of the... I just don't want it to look like a repeated pattern. Does that make sense? Alright. So that was the orangey... Oranginess. I wonder if I can get any of this off of here. Oh, look at that. Oh, because it was getting thick over here. Thick. Good, now we have a little more room on our palette. Or my palette. I don't know why I'm calling it yours. Should we do a little bit of, um, that one's Grape Freeze. This one is Berry Wine, and this one is Tapestry Wine. Sure, let's use Tapestry Wine. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that was a little bit more than I needed. Also, it's very similar to the color I made, I think. I don't know, let's see. Is it even different at all? A little bit. It's a little bit more red. And I'm just trying to come in near the other colors to kind of bring them together as a complete family. Unorphan them. That was a... Uh, what's, oh shoot, Kara Jacobson. Artsy Fartsy Life. She, she talks about orphans in her artwork. How, like, if something's not connected, she'll call it an orphan. So, like, if I have, like, no color connected, I would I would be like, okay, it's not connected. Like, see this little corner here? He's an orphan. He's not connected to any of the other colors. Oh, there might be yellow there. It's hard to say. All right. I think I still have enough on here to use for this. This actually does look very, pretty much the same <laughs> This is pretty much the berry wine, so just slight, slight difference, not much. All right, let me 
leave some of this berry wine down and add some that is the berry wine where's my grape freeze some grape freeze to the berry wine so that that kind of and then is that going to be dark enough kind of mixing it a little bit i'm going to add a little bit of black it still looks the same color. I'm going to add a little more berry freeze too. All right. I just don't think that I can get a little bit of black if I just squirt it out. Is this the berry grape freeze? Grape freeze. Add a little bit more of that. And hopefully we'll have enough for... I don't know. Let's see. I'm moving that back up there because I have it on my brush right now and I want to use what's on my brush. It's just a little bit darker giving me a little bit different look in between the other reds and whatnot. This one's not going to have a little, lot of yellow left, is it? <laughs> It'll still show through some. It just seem like big blocks of yellow back there, so I'm just kind of... And I'm turning this so that it goes in all different directions, but you don't have to. I'm like... Maybe, maybe you want it to be like, look like a leaf. So you just kind of go like that and just kind of keep it all in one direction, which kind of gives it a leaf look. This is, I think I said it in the last video that I'm not showing anyone. It, it kind of resembles like a, um, an abstract leaf pile, I guess, is what you might think of when you see it. All right. Do we have any of this left in here? see definitely has some khaki still showing in the back there don't necessarily want all that that's what I'm aiming for now is the uh, the khaki bit not that there's anything wrong with khaki khaki I don't know why I want to keep saying that like that but I do khaki so you definitely do get a different look between the brush and the sponge you can already see the big difference between the two. Now, let's see. This one, do I want to add some, some blue? I do want to do this one, but I might not add any blue to this one. Because I added blue and green to the other two. This one is the spongy one. Hey, I had a smaller sponge that was for blue. Yep, blue and yellow-ish going on there. I threw away that towel with all that paintiness on it, didn't I? I just need a place to put some paint. And all I have to do is spray some awesome on here. Or any cleaner, really. And wipe it up and it comes off glass pretty good and pretty easily. Alright, now we're moving on to like a blue. Why did I throw that thing away. I don't need a brush. That's right. All right. Let me stick this brush in here. I'm using the sponge. I forgot. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of teal. No, not teal. I'm going to put a little bit of midnight blue, I think. I think I used Admiral Blue last time, but they're pretty similar. And a little bit of this lime green. Because I want kind of a weird... Oops, that's more lime green than I wanted. It's more paint, period, that I wanted, but. All right, let's mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it. What can we mix it with? Cheap brush. These are my cheap brushes that I took out. Yeah, that, that green's a little clumpy. Uh, there's some paint. What do you call that? Paint skin? Yeah, I think that's good. It's kind of a muted, a muted teal now, I think which is kind of more of what I wanted. We start, if we're not sure, we just start on the edge because that way, if you don't like it, if you're like, oh no, that doesn't work, you have time to stop and just cut that edge off. That way, you don't have to be afraid to try different colors. So, that's all I'm saying. Just saying, try things, make messes, have fun. Listen to Miss Frizzle when she tells you these things. I just really like the teal with the red and, and orange. 
don't know. They're kind of opposite on the color wheel, right? So, yep, everyone's home today. Don't know if you can... Uh, door just closed. That's because he's on his way back to work. All right, so there's that. Now I'm going to add some splatters. Oh, I need to use this up. Um, I need to. I just do. I need to use it up. Let me just grab another piece of paper here and rip it, apparently. It's all right, because I can just use it to make tags, so. Well, now I'm kind of wondering if I just went over the other thing like this with, like, a lot more. All right, don't mind me. I kind of want to do that. I just want more. I want more. 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 That way, it's more of, like, you're seeing everything through this blue-green haze, I guess. Kind of connects it all, too. Now everything's adopted. No orphans here. <laughs> Alright, and it really darkens it up, but that's okay. We're going to lighten it up a little bit. Alright, and I still have something here. Something big enough to make the background of a tag. Apparently, with some green skin in there. Paint skin! So much fun. Alright, now I'm going to show you how I got this, because I didn't I'm not using my it's more expensive paints. I'm using my cheaper one. So this is called Coffee Bean, and it's not quite dark enough for what I want to do. So I'm doing that, and yes, I'm adding black. You knew, you knew it, right? It's about one-to-one -one ratio there. I don't know if that's what I had before or not. But let's mix them up and see how it goes, because I want more of a raw umber, which is a very dark brown. There we go. Now we are much closer to raw umber, but for splatters, we need it to be weak as water. Weak as water. Oh, that's, you guys ever watch the Cosby show? That was like one of the professors, I guess, used to say. Um, I don't know. It was one where Claire has a reunion or something, and so she sees her old teacher or something, I think. I don't know. But it's, it's, it's the... That's why I say weak as water sometimes, just from the random. Oh, it's random. All right, no. Um, okay. You can always test out your splatters off to the side or on the edge to make sure that they are what you want. Now, I get more splatters when I do this, but they kind of go in a direction. Whoops, there's my big splatter. So I have to turn my paper. If you don't want your splatters to go in a direction see because or to drip really first of all there's better ways to do it than i'm doing i'm sure all right but if you see big i'm trying to think if it's too i think it might still be too thick or i just have too much on my brush let's test that theory I might just have it too thick on my brush is why yeah that's why I was getting those big giant drops which if you don't like the big giant blobs you can just gently we'll see what happens when we just you just kind of blot it like this which kind of makes it spread it out with your hey you could do this with paper towel too I bet I mean you go through a lot of paper towels but all right, let's see. Any more big blobs that we can make this little grungy brownness spread all over the page instead of just being in like three spots? We're going to make it look like it was on purpose. That's what we're doing. And then we'll add a few more brown splatters. Oh my goodness, I'm getting stuck on the cord there. And a few. All right, we're going to test our theory that maybe, maybe it's not thin enough. Add a little more water. Also, I'm gonna wipe off my brush because I have it all up, up all up the um is it called a barrel? This was all on this part, is what I'm trying to say. Still getting kind of big blobs, but I think cleaning off the barrel and watering it down might have helped some. And if you wanted to add a little bit of white, 
it would lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of gold, not mixed with white this time, hopefully. Oh, got a big blob. That's all right. We're going to live with it. We just, I like brown on it because brown is just another fall color. All right, now let's find our gold. Gold. Got this gold right here. And, all right, I cleaned this out, so the, now I should be able to use it without it getting all weird. Adding water. Finding the brush I used before for that. I think it was this one. Was it that one? No. Which one? It's probably still laying here somewhere. Probably. Yep. Right there. That's where it is. Now, let's see if using a smaller brush might help make the splatters not so big, too. Uh, who is it that likes to use the fan brush? I think it's um, Artie Mays, Andrea likes to use the fan brush. She's a fan of the fan brush. What's a fan brush, you ask? This is the fan brush. See how it's kind of looks like a fan? You know, like a little geisha fan, like fan yourself. All right, good. Some of that stuff came off. Let's try that. Also, it mixes better because it's wider. I think I need a little bit more water because I had a lot of paint in there. Apparently, I feel like I really need to lighten these up. Actually, I might do it on all four of them because the last one, it was watered, it was watered down with the white. So it just looks more yellow than gold. When it dries, it looks more metallic. All right, that was the, which one is, this is the sponge one. That's how we can remember. The sponge one has the green on it. Just catch me, I'm falling. We still look close enough. We're almost done now, so. Oops, getting big blobs. Maybe I have it too watered down. I don't know. Any of you guys know about paint? I just kind of loaded it up there. That's part of it. All right, let me add a little bit of... See, now this is dry. It's got a little bit of metallic on the gold. But these should be a little bit different because... And it kind of, I don't know, makes it way more busy, I guess. Maybe. Now I've got all this gold. And you could also, you don't have to use your finger. You could use, just kind of tap it on something. Like that. And then don't, make sure you don't put them on top of each other because that's when you end up with problems. This one, I'm going to add a little bit of, my, br my brushes are totally coated. That's part of the problem. There we go. Clean off your brush after you mix it. That might help you have smaller and tap lightly. That's what I'm doing right now. I cleaned off. I wiped off my bristles like this because, you know, when you mix it, you get them totally covered. There we go. Add a little bit of, a little bit of splatter to that one. All right, let's add some gold splatter to our fodder too, because why not? Even even if it's gonna be just fodder, it could still be really cute with some added, um, some added splatter. I might add splatter to the others too, I don't know. Cause now I just got too much gold in there. You guys just wanna watch me just do, 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 all day long. Just, just a little bit. I don't want too much. And then, cause then I also, I have to then find a place to lay everything down. Do I want to do it on the orange one? Uh, I hope Lori's okay with that. I haven't scanned it yet and I'm already, I'm splattering it. I probably should like scan them and then this one already has splatters. Got some copper splatters and some raw umber splatters and now some gold. It has to have some gold in it, so it's okay. It's oh uh, this has the splatter. This one I splattered too. It has the that has gold, copper, and the raw umber. I like to use the fluid acrylics for splatter. I think I said that already. But they're expensive, so just water down your regular acrylics and then you'll have fluid acrylics. That's how it works, right? Not really. Fluid acrylics are a little bit more um, pigmented, I think. So even though they're like, wa not watered down, but you know, more fluid, they're not like a lighter color. 
And I think they do that by just giving it a little more pigmentation, more pigment. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, and the only reason I th think that is because when I was looking up, can you, um, I looked up, I googled, can you tint, uh, like white paint, house paint with acrylics? And it said, yes, you can, but it's best to use fluid acrylics. And I think that the reason was because it was more highly pigmented. So this one was using the, the sponge. And this one was using the cheap brush. We had almost all the same colors. We just added that green to this one. And we've got the splatters, extra splatters. But you can see as they're drying, they look a little more metallic. And um, yeah, it's just fun. So you don't have to have a jelly plate print. You, a jelly plate print. You don't have to have a jelly plate. It's the word I'm trying to say. To paint painty papers. And the cheaper the brush, the better for this technique. Here's the ones I do with the brushes in the video you'll never see. But I'm going to go delete it now so no one ever puts it up. No, it was just, um, I was wearing my microphone on my shirt. Because, you know, I had to try it. Because it seemed to do okay in the car. I don't think I was heavy breathing then. But for some reason, when I had it on my shirt inside, it just, I don't know. So, right now it's attached to this little cup. Over here to my left because my fan is to my right so I can't put my microphone right by my phone because then the fan you'd hear more fan than you would me so now you know you can use black with other colors to get muted colors and especially with like a lighter brown I, I don't usually find raw umber type color in the cheap paints like this just add some black and you can do it um, so yeah get yourself some cheap paints fall colors if you want or whatever colors you want and play go play go have fun make all the things and know that i love you have a delightful day everybody